The next companion that we'll mention was a king of a place called Tihama, which is a coastal plain by the Red Sea. His name is Abraha ibn al-Sabah. This noble companion from Ethiopia, he embraced Islam without anyone inviting him to Islam. He embraced Islam all on his own by the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. His name again, Abraha ibn al-Sabah. Now, what is noteworthy about him is he comes from a famous family. His mother is the daughter of Abraha, the man who came with the elephants to destroy the Kaaba. And so when we know this, then we understand that the grandfather of the companion Abraha ibn al-Sabah, he met the grandfather of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is when Abraha came with the elephants in the direction of Mecca to destroy the Kaaba. And everyone from Mecca, they fled. And this, of course, is the year known as the year of the elephant. And this was around the time that the Prophet ﷺ was born. So when Abraha came with the elephants and the inhabitants of Mecca got word of this, everyone fled except the grandfather of the Prophet ﷺ, Abdul Muttalib. Abdul Muttalib, he said, I'm going to go speak with this man. So when Abraha saw Abdul Muttalib, he was impressed by him because Abdul Muttalib was very attractive and he had a well, he had a very nice appearance about him. So Abraha got down from his elephant and told his translator, translate between me and this man. So Abdul Muttalib, he said, I come to you to ask you to spare my camels and don't harm my camels. Abraha said to him, when I initially saw you, I was impressed by you. But now I see you are asking me to save your camels and I'm coming to destroy the Kaaba. Why aren't you asking me not to destroy the Kaaba, the place where you worship at? Abdul Muttalib said, I am the Lord of my camels. As for the Kaaba, then it has its own Lord. And the Lord of the Kaaba will take care of the Kaaba. And then we know the story that you can read in, in the chapter called The Elephants about how Allah Ta'ala destroyed Abraha and the elephants who were trying to harm the Kaaba. Now, Sheikh Huthaymin says there's another benefit to this and that we see that the supplication of the pagan, if they are going through a hardship or stress, is also accepted because Allah Ta'ala saved the Kaaba as they begin to pray that it be saved. Now, this man, Abraha from Ethiopia, who was going to destroy the Kaaba, although he was not a believer, his grandson, Abraha ibn al-Sabah, became from the noble companions. And he embraced Islam, as we mentioned, without anyone giving him da'wah, just by the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal. May Allah Ta'ala be pleased with Abraha ibn al-Sabah, the Ethiopian.